Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be unboxing the Master Grade G Parts Hoodoo. As you can see, I've got both the different Hoodoo parts here. I've got just the regular one and then we've got the Combat Deployment Colors version, basically. Uh, the white version and the dark version. So, But as far as I know, they're basically the same thing. I did take a peek inside and even the water slide decals are the same. Unfortunately, I was hoping that they would come with different water slides, but basically it's just different color plastic. That's going to be the only difference with these. So um, we've got these two here and I actually have a second one of the regular color. And then I actually have another set of these coming from a friend of mine in the States. Alex is sending me another set of these two. So I'll be able to make all sorts of different Master Grade Hazel custom units out of these. So we'll take a look at a few of them in the review, but first let's just take a look at what we've got in the box with these. As you can see, obviously, of course, these are P Bandai sets, like with the Master Grade Hazel itself. Uh, Bandai seems to be doing all of their Advanced Zeta stuff for the time being as premium Bandai stuff. Fortunately or unfortunately, I'm just glad that this actually got made. I've, this is another Advanced Zeta thing that I never thought we would actually see get made. These two, I should say, are sponsored by USA Gundam Store, so big thank you to them for sponsoring these reviews, guys. Uh, do check out the link to their site if you want P Bandai stuff and you're living in North America. You can get that stuff from USA Gundam Store, so check that out and use my coupon code there, Zaku Aurelius 10 Let's take a look around the boxes here. Quickly, they're going to be basically the same, except again, the combat deployment colors one is labeled thusly on the side of the box. We got just, again, pretty much the same thing there. And these retailed for 2,000 yen each, so not too bad, considering it's a pretty hefty box, as you can see here, for it being just this separate fighter thing. Now, uh, apparently this is uh, kind of the inspiration for this is modeled after, or I guess it's not modeled after, but the inspiration for the design came from the G Fighter used by the Gundam in the original series. Uh, but this one can't actually dock mid-air, so it's a support unit that is either uh, can fly on its own and it has its own cockpit, or it's uh, mounted on with the Hazel Gundam upon deployment. So uh, the history behind the name, if any of you guys are interested about the strange name Hududu, is like with many of the Advanced Zeta designs, it comes from uh, the book Watership Down. And in the rabbit's language, Hududu actually means car, interestingly. So it's kind of a support unit as a car. It sort of makes sense. So there we can see is our water slide decals. We'll take a look at those in a moment. We've got some uh, typical Advanced Zeta kind of bright uh, yellow orange color there. It does come with a base. I actually didn't know that this came with a base. So there you go. About uh, half the plastic in here almost is just the parts for a nice base. And luckily, this is uh, not the Action Base 4. This is actually the uh, BA-13. This is my favorite Bandai base. I think this is definitely the, the best base still that Bandai has made. I uh, still like this one the best, so that's really cool uh, that that's included. Let's take a look at the instructions. I assume the instructions will be the same. We'll take a peek at the other one just in case, but we'll take a look at this one here first. So this is the Combat Deployment Colors version. There you can see what the machine looks like. It's just the box art there and now in color. On the back, uh, here's what it's going to look like, it's just mounted on the action base, just flying by itself. And what I'm really interested to see here in the manual is how well it shows you how to actually mount this on the hazel. And it looks like that's a fair amount of the manual here, so alright, we'll get to that in a moment. Painting colors down there is in Japanese and English. Going into the parts list, looks like we're going to be using all of that, except for a couple extra pieces left over there from the action base. That's okay. And then on to the construction. So here it says, oh, this is cool, great. So it shows you how to just build just the G parts itself, then how to make it into the dual combination. So if you have two of them combined together like that, and then how to make the Hazel Ra second form. So that's if you have two of them and the Hazel, uh, advanced Hazel Master Grade Kit, then you can make it into the uh, Hazel Ra second form. So we'll make that. Um, with the regular set, I think we'll just make the regular Hazel Ra, and then the Hazel Ra uh, second form uses two of them. So anyway, uh, very cool. I'm glad that it shows you that well in the manual. That's a very important part of this, I think. So it's just building that up. It's just kind of all the separate parts of that, and then you're just going to kind of put it together. What I'm also interested to see is how functional everything is uh, in terms of the functionality of the claw unit and the blade rifle and all of that. So you just build that up, build up the base, and then it shows you how to make it into uh, the, the dual combination. So there you go. There'll be a little bit of part swapping and mix matching for that. And then shows you how to take the uh, either the Hazel or the Advanced Hazel and make it into the Hazel Ra second form here. Taking those parts, and you'll have to do, again, some combining for that on the chest, changing out some chest parts, crotch parts, changing out the, the head if you need that, um, just changing out a whole bunch of parts and all of that. And then the shields. 
So there's all that, and there you go. All right, so let's take a look at the runners. We'll hold that thought. Let's take a look at the manual for just the regular Huda do to see if that's any different. Now, again, the parts and the water slide decals are exactly the same, I would guess, but here we have just the, the box art in color there on the back. Again, all just kind of same stuff there. Uh, now, this one is going to cover, let's see... Uh, yeah, so this one just covers the dual combination as well, and then just how to make just the regular Hazel Ra. So that's going to be a little bit different in just the manual. Uh, this one will show you how to make the Hazel Ra. The other one shows you how to make the Hazel Ra second form. Another point of trivia, in case you guys were wondering, adding the Ra on the end of a name in the rabbit's language in Watership Down is just a way of, ma like, uh, honorific. So basically making it, like, a really important or really good uh, name or person or whatever you're identifying with the Ra at the end. So... There you go. So it's like King Hazel, sort of, in a way. So there you go. And yeah, so the construction is all the same. And then here at the end, how to make that into the Hazel Rod. It's basically just, again, just swapping parts and things like that. So, all right, let's get a look at the runners now. All right, so here is those water slide decals. It's basically just a few of the special rabbit markings on there. And the Omeka and the Titan Test Team logos there, mostly in white with a couple black ones on there as well. And once again, is all of our parts to make the BA-13 base, which was originally in the Master Grade Fenicia Renishita kit, uh, and is still has yet to be sold separately, unfortunately, but you do get it in some kits now and then. Runner A1 here is in this kind of dark purple color. If you saw my review of the HG Wound War, it's in the same color as like the joints and those parts of the Wound War as well, so uh, it matches that in a way. So these are all parts that are specifically new for this kit. They're marked just Master Grade 1 100 scale Hrududu. And then we have Runner A2 as well, which is some more parts uh, also in that same dark purple color. Runner B1 is just going to be in just a standard gray color for some more just like uh, joint parts, inner inner workings parts basically. And then we've got a B2 as well, which is just some more of those parts. You can also see like the blade of the blade rifle there as well. Runner C is in this really dark gray color, almost black for just a few of the bigger parts there. And the Runner D is once again in that kind of character yellow, slightly orangish yellow color uh, for these little accent parts, and that's it. So there you go. Uh, again, the runners are going to be exactly the same for both kits, so I won't bother showing you the ones for just the regular Hoodoo as well. They're just the same thing, just in different colors. For now, that's it for the unboxing. In the review, we'll take a look at the G Parts Hoodoo itself and at the Hazel and the Hazel Ra. We'll take a look at both of those and see just how awesome those are going to look. I am very, very pleased that we got these, so super happy to be checking them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any of the further questions, comments you have down below, and all of your P-Band I hate, I'm sure, will be there as well. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the review. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code, Zakuarelius10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.